it's my second year in the NFL, going on my third. I mean, you tell me who's wrong. Okay, I, I'll accept that. I, I think I've accomplished more in my field than you have in yours, though you're just getting started. So, so I'm, I'm the top of my field, so I'm all pro. I'm the best, one okay. of the best 22 players in the NFL. You're, you're going to brush it off, but I don't think you're the best 22 anything in sports and in, in media and well, that's, anything. I think that's you debatable. think more of yourself than you actually can, you know, prove. But okay, I'll, you think you're like better than Darrell like Revis is right now? In my, in my 24 years of life, I'm better at life than you. Okay. So let's, All right, that's let's fair. Get, let's All get, right. let's get down right. well, to that. Well, let's, let's stay. Let's not. Oh, so, uh, Skip, Skip Bayless is um, getting ready to come back from his hiatus with Undisputed coming up in September, uh, right around the time football season's kicking in. And Richard Sherman has now been announced. And it was rumored for a while that Sherman was going to be the co host. Some people were thinking of Sean McCoy. But he's already on his show on that network with, with Emmanuel Locho. And I thought Sherman kind of made sense if it was anybody that would do it. Uh, Well-spoken guy, kind of like Marcellus Wiley from Compton. Uh, went to a really big school, went to Stanford, educated. Uh, doesn't, you know, he's not Shannon. Like He's not going to play some type of character. He's not going to be nobody's uncle. <laughs> I mean, he's not bringing props up to the studio or nothing like that. But he is going to break down analytics, and maybe he could bring that back to sports media. Uh, I don't think Sh Sh Richard Sherman wants to join the, the media circus that has become sports media, where it's all about hot take central. You know, I think he wants to come on there and really challenge Skip. Like, okay, we know what your opinion is, but do you really know the game? Do you know what coverage they were playing on this play you want to break down so bad? You want to break, you know what I mean? Like Richard Sherman could do that. He could have been a coach. He was on the Bucks coaching staff about a year ago, but he just didn't like the long hours. So he's going to join the show. And this has got to be humbling for Skip because, like I say, Skip has an ego. And Sherman was one of the first few people who's ever been able to, like, really really like make skip look crazy and embarrass him on dv and that was what 2012 if i'm not mistaken that was when um that was right before the seattle with the whole legion of boom thing right before they went won that super bowl and he was just now getting on the rise and skip at the time was giving him a hard time and was like oh, i don't think you're better than revis and that's when that was it was just like when uh, Jalen Rose embarrassed him a few, you know, around that same time and brought up his college, his high school stats, two points. <laughs> you know what I mean? Called him Pistol Water Pete. Uh, Mark Cuban, you know, when Mark Cuban came up there when the Mavericks beat the, the Heat and Skip made it all about LeBron choking. And Mark Cuban was like, do you even know why, what a zone defense is? He asked Skip, what is a zone defense? And this is a man who's a journalist who wrote and used to cover for the Chicago Bulls. He was startled. He didn't know and could not describe on national TV, on a dot, unscripted. He did not know the answer to that question. So he doesn't like being showed up, you know, on, on TV. That's his territory. That's his domain. You're on his show. And for him to, what, 10, 10 11 years later, now he's got to do a show with this guy. Because like I said, they could sit there in front all they want. They were not prepared for Shannon's uh, absence, Shannon's departure. That came right under their nose they didn't see it coming they weren't prepared for it luckily for them shannon was nice enough to ride it out after the finals and skip allegedly has been pissed off all summer he hasn't been able to cover free agency and things of that nature because he knows people are not going to tune in to see him unless he's saying some really crazy stuff like desperation mode like he's been going at it with charles barkley a person who he used to ignore for years now you're going at him because you need some generate, you need some interest. You need to generate interest. You know, and, he, and then he's also got Wayne. Wayne is going to be on the show every Friday as like a correspondent. He's going to be a guest. Uh, I don't know, a guest. Um, I guess the reason they got that is because Richard Sherman is still covering Thursday night on Amazon. He's on the Amazon broadcast. So he's got to travel on Thursdays. I guess he won't be available Friday. So they're going to have Wayne come in on Fridays. Hey, it might work for the first couple of weeks, but I mean, <laughs> you know, is Skip really going to challenge Wayne and debate him the way he would anybody else? I doubt it. And is Wayne going to be accountable to show up every week on time? I don't know. <laughs> With that lifestyle and the way he partying, I, I don't know, man. You, you're banking on a lot, but yeah, Skip is really 
trying to hold this thing together in Shannon's absence. And I think he's going to realize if he hasn't already in these last couple of months, kind of messed up here. You know, you had your, your the best thing you could have, the best person you could have worked with outside of Stephen A. Stephen A is not being let go by ESPN no time soon. So you got to work with who you got to work with. And in this case, he's now got to work with another former NFL player. Uh, let's see if he'll disrespect him and his credentials and his resume the way he did Shannon. He's going to have to really watch the way he talks and the way he, you know, carries himself. Because Sherman ain't going to play around. <laughs> Sherman is not Shannon. He's not going to sit up here and get teary-eyed. He'll walk off the broadcast first, off the set. I guarantee you, if, if he calls out or tries Sherman like the way he did Shannon, it's not going to be the same result. And I'm not saying Sherman is like, you know, Ron Artest or something like that, but he's not going to tolerate that. That's not his character. He's not there for the jokey jokes. He's not going to come up there and say, Skip, I'll give you everything I had. When, when you lay your head on that pillow at night, it's that you're not getting none of that. <laughs> Sherman ain't giving you that. So, but uh, yeah, this is Skip's uh, answer to the, the departure of Shannon Sharp. And we'll see what it looks like. Sink or swim comes September football season. Like I said, the first couple of weeks, it'll be interesting. I'll check it out, you know, see what it's like. But, you know, it's going to be challenging to see if Skip holds us together. Let me know what y'all think. Is Sherman a good enough co-host? Or should they have gotten somebody else? Hit that like button and that notification too.